Namaste children. We are going to chapter 10 today to see motion and measurement of distance. In this chapter, the first they deal about various types of transport system and its evolution. How the people used to move from one place to another place. They used only on foot. Then they used bullock cart. Then gradually in the later years the invention of wheel then automatically one by one by car, bus, train, flight all other services of transport system came into existence. Why in this topic we discuss about the transport? How to find out the distance? I want to go from Tanjavur to Trichy and there is no any unit to express what is the distance. Then the people used to say the time taken it takes two hours, it takes three hours. Based on the time that they have taken they used to express the distance or sometimes days. It takes two days. It takes one day. Like that, the time duration is used for measuring the distance. Now let us see what is length, what is distance. Length means it is how long that is the length. If you measure the length of the table, you are having a, suppose a tape, you want to measure the length of the table, then this is called length. Distance is how far we want to know the distance from Tanjau to Trichy. How we say 50 kilometer. So how far is the distance? How long is the length? Remember these two. Then, <coughs> regarding the measurement, how to measure? There is a unit. In mathematical any expression, there will be a unit. Either we can tell the distance in miles or in kilometers. It varies. It is having two parts. One is a number will be there. As I already told the example, Tanjau Trichy, distance is 50. 50 is the number. What is that 50? Is a mile or kilometer? Kilometer. Then only that is unit. When you use the word kilometer, miles, that is called the unit. The number indicates actual the distance. And what is a kilometer? And that we have to see. There is a word called standard units of measurement. Ancient days how they used to do? By using their arm. Length of the arm they use. Even now the flower shops. The ladies wherever they sleep, can see. They use their arm only for measuring the flower. And the people even now they use foot for measuring the, the surface of suppose a room size you want. They use with the foot. But these are all will not be a standard size. Person to person the size will vary. That is why they thought we can have a standard system or a called standard unit or SI unit. International standard system of unit that is SI units. In the SI unit 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meter. 1 kilometer distance equal to 1000 meter. And then 1000 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter. 1 meter if you take you can have a Normally the tailor using this type of tape. They used to measure with this tape. Become flexible. 
if we use this tape, this is also tape only, it is not that much flexible. And one meter if you take, it is a hundred centimeter. And one centimeter is 10 millimeters that you can see in a scale between two, the distance of centimeter if you see 10 millimeter, small line will be 10. In such a way, a standard unit was introduced for easy calculation. Then while measuring, normally what we use? Easy way using a scale to measure the length. If length is more, then we use the tape. Either you can use this type of tape or you can use the flexible tape. Then, how to see when you are measuring the scale and all you want to see the reading, the length you want to measure and see the reading, we cannot see from the side or this side. There, there will be error in our observation. Better to see straight away to that particular point. That is more important. How to see when you are measuring. In case you are given like this one curved object, I want the length of this one. Here you cannot use a scale to measure. Difficult. Then people was to use, they use a thread. Easy to place the thread. The tip of the thread will be placed. You can use the thread length. Completely place the thread only on which Now this is the total length. Now this can be measured with the scale. First we are using a thread. According to the curved object we place, you see, one feet and then remaining length. We can measure what is the size coming. Any curved object, better to use a thread accordingly you place, then measure the length of the thread. Now, coming to the another heading, moving things around us. When we say moving things, there are two things, moving, non-moving, motile, immotile. So, move, whichever moving is, that's called motion. For example, car, bus, flight, and all moving, they are in motion. Tree, house, they are not moving. They are stationary. Do not move. Stationary means do not move. And now we are going to see the types of motion. What are the different types? How do they move? Are they moving in a straight line? Then it is called linear motion or rectilinear motion. Moving in a straight line. Sometimes it can rotate in a circular motion. Fan and tall. In a circular motion, round. Or, the rotational motion and periodic motion. Two other types are there. Rotational motion. In a circular motion, the object, object spins. What is the spinning? Even you know that uh, top, we used to make a spin. Rotating. That is their rotation speed, rotational motion. And periodic motion mean like a pendulum. The specific time may the pendulum will go to a particular distance back to and fro. That is a periodic motion. So this is a very simple topic. You should remember read only rectilinear motion, then rotational. The rotational it may be a circular periodic. This much only. Thank you.